applied for back in December, and they finally got back to me with the coding challenge. So I just wanted to share it and show you, you know, what it's like to get a real coding challenge. Um, this is for a Rails position using hot wire, stimulus, and tailwind. Those are the, the main technologies that I use, so I'm pretty confident that I'm going to do well on this project because these are the things I use every day. This is my main tools. So basically, they had a good description of the task. They had it in a readme. So it's a front-end test. And what they want is they want to add... So they they have an existing simple Rails app, and then they want to add it and... They want to add some updates and improve it, enhance it a little bit with some designs. And they included a Figma design. So they basically just want me to copy exactly what's inside the Figma and bring it to the Rails app. So let's see what the Figma is. So it looks like we have a list here. And maybe there's editing, like inline editing maybe. Or no, I don't think it's inline. I think... This is just a list and then, okay, when you click edit, a mode out would pop up. And that's it. That's so simple. This is like, this is a piece of cake. Let's see what the app looks like though. So the first thing I did was I forked it. So I think if I go over to my repos, I'll see if I have the fork. Okay, I have the fork. So in here, now I'm just gonna clone this. And <clears throat> so the steps they said was to run the bundle install and then bin dev. So that's pretty basic, standard procedure when you're starting a new Rails app. Let's just do bin dev. And it should be open on 3000. Okay, so this is what it looks like currently. It's just kind of, the UI is pretty bad, but there's a nested form. You click new reason, I can't tell Can't even tell if it's if that's working right now. Add return reason. Okay, it is. It totally is adding it to the bottom. Which means there must be some JavaScript already set up. So it's just simple a nested form. And they want me to change that into this pretty looking page, which actually is super easy. Yeah, I'm comfortable doing stuff like this. So let's start, let's open up the code. I think we just got this repo, here we go. Rails front end test. I just wanna look at that index page. Wait, is that where we are? Let's check routes to RB for the root. So the root is actually storefronts one edit page. Interesting. And we can add the return reasons. There's the form. This is what it currently looks like. <clears throat> they want it to look like this. Wait, I should sign in real quick. Okay, so the cool thing about Figma is you can click here and it'll just tell you like what class it is. Although there should be a way to, 
to get this as Tailwind. Because I'm going to use Tailwind CSS. So yeah, because uh, when, when I update the styling, I want to use Tailwind, but I, I just want to copy the exact Tailwind code. Looks like maybe I can use anima. Never used that before. Wait, how do we add it if it's not our... I don't know. I just want to get this as Tailwind. Okay, it looks like I was able to get it pretty easily. Now I'm just gonna log in. Okay, here's the thing I need to go. It does react to the tailwind. Really, that's. That wasn't really as good as I wanted. I was I was expecting. So, because I just want to get like the tailwind classes, but I guess I could do that too. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna use tailwind and. What's the thing? Like, what should I do for the styling? Should I use tailwind? Regular tailwind uh, sizing. I'm gonna see if they match up. Yeah, like this would be text to Excel, but there really needs to be a better plugin that gives you those classes. I'm not sure if I'm missing something. I'm just gonna use those classes. So basically, they wanted the title to be what they're saying is this add text to Excel to this title. Let's go back. So, this is what it looks like now. If you refresh, uh, it's still kind of small. I think they're using a different font too. Font family enter. That's definitely not what it is there. So for the fonts, I'm going to add a font. Oh wait, they already have one. So it's sans. We should see say font sans and it's already the one they want. Refresh. Okay. You know, it looks like it was already, it's already using that font. I just don't know why this one looks a lot bigger. I think it's bolded. I mean, this part's kind of custom, though. The line height, 
need the font weight. You know, I might just use tailwinds. But why are they using... The weird thing is that they're using an image for returns. They're exporting it as an image. It doesn't make sense for... If they're going to give you the HTML. Am I missing something? No, they're still they're using image for that too. It doesn't make sense. Okay. What about seven hundred? Okay. So seven hundred means font bold. What about the line height? I need to see that. What line height is 43.2 pixel? That's pretty random. That's super random. We're going to have to do a custom one for that. If we care about making it exact. Oh, wait. What is it? 135%? I don't know if that's what that is, though. I guess for something like this, we do a custom needing that exact percent. That's what they asked for. Everything else looks good, so let me go back. Mm. It looks bigger here, but you know what? Once we start fixing the rest of the styling, it's going to look a lot better. So the next thing is they have this... It's kind of border around the rest of the items. I'm just going to look at that. We can literally see what they're doing with styling. But I'm going to do this myself. But I'll have to copy some other things. So I guess where the field set is, I'm just going to... I mean, you know what? Let's just style the field set. I don't know if that's weird, though. I don't know why they're using field set. I'm just going to... I don't want to delete it, so I'm just going to put a div around it. Although, that's not really going to work how we want for, series, for the styling. So let's just style the field set, that's fine. Wait, what am I saying? Alright, let's get to this in a second, because I don't even know... They're doing flex call. I'm actually kind of lost on where the styling is. Okay, this is different. Okay. This is just the outside. So the outside box, that doesn't that's not really important if we do flex or not. But one thing is padding 16 pixels. Okay. I just need to see what that equates to. Looks like one rem would be 16 pixels. Or no, what I meant is four. They have the numbers. So we can say P4. There we go. Same as 16. I gotta start remembering that, but it's not really important, honestly. And then the next thing is flex call. Gap is 40 pixels. Align self stretch. I don't really know how important that is. Because there's only one item. So that really doesn't make much sense to me. Anyways, the next one is flex and align items flex start. Which means it's kind of like, but I think that's what it already is by default, so I don't even need to do that. And then gap is 40, so there actually is spacing between these two elements. And then align self stretch. Hmm. I guess the line self stretch means it, it's gonna take 100% of the parent element. So instead of saying like width full, which is what I usually do, they're saying a line self stretch. That's interesting. 
I can't really say if it's better or not, but it's interesting. So right here on the field set is where I would add Lex, and then I would do gap, 40 pixel gap. Although that might actually be a Tailwind thing already, whoops. Um, almost went to my own website. <laughs> Go to gap. Do they already have 40 pixel? Or wait, what was it? Yeah, just 40 pixels. That's just 10. So instead of even doing the custom, we can just say gap 10. Clean it up a little bit. Let's go back. There we go. We have the styling. And then this obviously is different. So let's add the styling for this return reasons here. It's almost like a secondary header. So the color is fine. Font family enter, that's fine. The 20 pixels is kind of exact. I'm gonna go back here. Do we? Oh, so this actually changes the line height too. We're actually well, 28. No, that's normal. That's the same as this. So let's let's use text Excel. And so it's gonna be bold, and then that's it. Whoops! I was adding it to the wrong element. Add this to the legend. It's cool they're using all of the, you know, correct HTML elements. I like that. Okay, so we see this. That's looking better. One thing actually is that. In the design, this is kind of lined up, but I think it's because we can't see the background. So let's add that color. Forgot to do that. So it looks like the background is just white. So that would be up on this higher level div. It looks like I forgot to do a closer on that. Or maybe I did it in here. I know. Thought that was a different one. Okay, so let's do BG white on this. Go back. I actually can't see a difference. So I think <laughs> let's change the the main page to be the same as this one. So yeah, they have a custom color. But actually, let's change on the HTML. Let's just change the class on the body. Add that custom color. Okay, now we have the gray on the outside, and now we can clearly see this part is separated. But it still doesn't really look the same because this has a it has some rounded, so it has a border radius of twelve. And the only reason I'm really going exact is because this is a challenge for a job that I'm interested in. And I want to get it perfect. So if they say design, and also because it's a front end test, I'm trying to make it perfect, at least as perfect as possible. Whoops, so I was, I was grabbing the styling for this, still just this, uh, the white border around. It's 12 pixels. Whoops, I already forgot. So it's rounded XL. We need to add it right here to that border and then the other thing I wanted to add was the box shadow because there is a box shadow if you look if you zoom out so that's like at the bottom it kind of makes it look a little bit more 3d so I want to grab that box shadow which right now it's kind of Annoying, so I am actually going to look at the anima for this because it should have already converted it into React. Hoping, I'm hoping this works right. 
Unless they just turn into an image, that's the worst. Yeah, they just... Or wait. No, they wouldn't change that into an image. So I'm trying to figure it out. It's kind of hard to see the React side, but... Where's the box shadow? Can't really tell. I think it's... I want to say that's the outside, but I can't really tell. Hmm. Yeah, the question is... How do we add this to Tailwind? I'm just gonna have to go figure it out. Or box shadows. Unless this just magically, which I think it would see it's custom. But unless this is already one of these options, it possibly could be. Just need to delete the recipes out. Hmm. Hmm. Nah, it doesn't really look like it. Just need to find how to add a custom. Okay, it looks like just like this. So if we go to Tailwind config, we can extend the box shadow. And I don't really know what I want to call it. Just like return box. <coughs> Let's just call it card. Okay, and then we can add this code. And then in here, we'll just say like box card. Or no, shadow and then dash card. Or we could, see this is the alternative, is you have to do all of this like underscore instead of spacing, which is kind of annoying. I can't even tell. Oh, also, the rounded didn't get applied. Wait, well, I just had it saying 12 pixels. I guess I forgot to apply this. Okay, there we go. This actually looks good. And I'm pretty sure I see the box shadow, but I just want to double check. Yeah, it's totally applying. Perfect. So this is already looking good. I mean, we have this lined out. I want to make sure that this is right. I kind of use a custom text color for it. So that would be text small. So like for the rest of it, we can just do text small. That should be fine. Whoops. And then we have the legend. And I want to see what else. Yeah, it looks like they're using this custom text color. I don't want it to apply for that. I just want it to apply for the rest. I don't know why they want to use this, but if, if they're going to use this more times, we're definitely going to add a variable, which they have here. You might want to add that into, instead of using hard coded, but we'll see if that comes back up. Font size is good, font weight 400. 
that just a normal font weight? Yeah. Line height, 19.6. I just really want to... Line height. Yeah, it's not here, so let's add that leading, and then we'll do custom. Although this one has a regular line height. So hopefully that doesn't interact, interfere. Okay, it looks fine. And then for some reason it has a custom letter spacing too. Which that's not here, so we're gonna have to add that. Problem is I don't want it to apply to this other. Like I don't want to do it on the whole div because it also has the legend. So I'm just gonna put this in a P. So yeah, I can edit it however I want. I'm just trying to make it look a certain way. It really doesn't look better at all. Honestly, at a certain point, I don't know if I should do the exact, you know, when it looks exactly the same. It looks like slightly different. You know what I mean? Let's not do that because that might, if we do that, they might just think it's weird. So this leading, like that's cool, but also we could do that with uh, padding. So let's say that this has margin. That would kind of also separate it. So I don't think we have to take it exactly. But let's see. I'm going to start doing it not. Because I just don't want it to be weird. Like I did it exactly. Although that's what they asked for with the Figma. But I feel like at a certain point. If it looks exactly the same. I'm not going to do like the, the custom. Like negative 0.1.54 pixel. I'm just gonna do a little bit of margin to, to get like the similar result. You know what I mean? So let's see, the next thing is this button. I'm guessing the whole top bar, the whole top part is actually a button. And then there's the icon and add return reason. Okay, I like this. So that would be. right here on this div I can start adding that styling so th this one also has like that background and a bit of a box shadow it looks like yeah we can start off with the basics like the flex the padding item center gap 24 pixel See if we can find a match. I gotta start remembering this. Okay, just that means six. Gap six. Okay, perfect. And then there is this color. Or no, that's the blue color. Okay. I wanna see what I want to see about the box itself, though. Come on. You see this code? It doesn't want to show me it. Show me that border, box border thing, but it doesn't want to show me this. Hmm. 
this is a little bit confused. Okay, this frame. Here we go. Wait, what? I just had found it. This frame right here. I guess I, I collapsed it. There we go. So it did, that one didn't even have the padding like I was adding. That must have been for a different part. So this is just flex and then flex call item center. And then for some reason, there's a custom flex. I don't even know what that means. Let's look in tone. Okay. Is that what that said? No, that's one zero zero. They don't even have that. I mean, I'm not really too familiar with this. Or we could do arbitrary. Okay, let's do arbitrary for this. Flex one zero zero. Uh, this does not look right <laughs> already. Okay, these should have both been equal. I think I'm missing another part. Whoops. All right, anyways. Let's add this border. Wait, what type of border is this? Not border. Rounded XL. And the border is actually pretty simple. Order one pixel. They definitely have something for this. Wait, how do they not? Anyways, order one pixel. Then we need that same. Okay, we are uh, reusing this color, so. Should probably clean this up in a second. Do we delete the styling? I think we deleted the styling for that. Okay, so this actually has a set width. We might we might as well add that. should actually there we go that fixes it a lot um okay and then there's the button up here we're gonna need to change that and obviously the items but it's starting to look more close to this yeah let's get back to what we're doing okay and then the background the neutral input background is what they call it Okay, there we go. You know what, I wanna make this bigger though, cause, well, actually, yeah, I think they want us to add in the side menu. So they want us to totally restyle it. I'm gonna add in that side menu real quick. We can actually just do that here, so, we can do in the body. Surrender side menu. And it's just going to be literally this right here. Hold up. How do I get the styling? Okay. Two eighty four pixels and 
says 900, but I'm just going to do height screen. Next call. Well, there's not really any. Yeah, there's not even anything inside, so I'm not even going to add that. I'll do flex though. And flex strength zero. Then the BG. It's right here. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I forgot to close off this div. There we go. make this flex there we go that's better the next thing is that this let's just take away all of the styling real quick because well that's not really what we're doing right now also i wonder if because this now i mean yeah you know what this shouldn't be height screen this should be height full Then min height screen. Although, is there even min height screen? I don't think there is. That's why you need to do custom min height 100 view height. But it still doesn't go the full way. That's weird. Hmm. Okay. So you know what we can do is height screen and then fixed. Then we're gonna have to count for it in the styling. Uh, it's kind of annoying. Yeah, I'm wondering if we shouldn't use this the fixed width or if we should just say like there's so much margin right here that, that doesn't really make sense this main shouldn't have that much styling that's why let's go back to the edit okay because we have this styling let's remove that too like we don't need that mx auto but we do need to figure out what sort of styling is on this? Honestly, it just looks like there's a little bit of padding. Yeah, that's not like that. P4. Or maybe even P8. That looks pretty good. Returns, add return reason. Now I just need a stylus up to make this look right. <coughs> style for this item so let me get that first so, so let's just start by going to the form and then it's gonna be the button oh they actually have a I class add icon but that's obviously not working maybe they want me to add the icon via CSS okay if they want me to do that I guess I can try to do that Wait, 
Why is it icon? I'm just kind of confused. Are they using font I like font awesome? You know what? Delete that. I don't want to use that. I want to see are they using view component? They're not using view component. So yeah, we're gonna use view component to store the icon. We'll render it here. Hey, there we go. We already have that button showing up. Now we just need to get the rest of the styling down. So really there needs to be, well, on this button, Actually, that button is where the styling is. Hmm. So we can try adding it to the button. Button flex P4 item center. There's a gap. I just want to find the number for that 24. Probably just did. Okay, what is that? Six. Yeah, I just did that. Gap six. Oh yeah, because I already copied the same thing. And then align self stretch. I'm not sure if that's important. Oh, I guess instead of using width full. How do I even do that? Oh, self stretch. Okay. That's what they wanted. So let's add it. It had zero effect because it's a button, of course. Can we do with full? There we go. Oh, but the styling's still messed up here. They didn't really count for that. So apparently in their world, 24 pixels is a lot more. Okay, maybe that's fine then. Even if it looks a little bit off. Let's not worry about it too much. Doesn't look like there's a, a set width on this. Anyways, I think now we should just focus on the text styling this. Okay. What is this? A group? Why is there a group? Is that, I guess that's the icon with 24 <coughs> 24 pixels would be six It's already 24, so let's just leave it. <laughs> Don't even have to mess with it. Now we just want to style the text. Again, there's the flex 100. Why? And that's just on the text? Alright, I don't know. I'm not going to use that because that doesn't make sense. does have a custom color which actually we're gonna start using a lot so we might want to find some way to move this into I don't know store it some or like move into some way of reusing it better
Font weight's actually 600. I think that's semi bold. Yep, semi bold. Line height is seems a little bit weird. Again, I think I was I was saying that I don't <clears throat> I was saying I don't really want to do the go crazy on the line heights. It's not really affecting anything. Let's let's try. What happens if we add that leaving? Nothing happens, so let's not do it. Or that might just because it's in a span. Honestly. Let's try moving in a P. Mm, nope. So I guess that's not important. Anyways, this looks alright, although it still looks a little bit off. I don't know. It doesn't look perfect. It's almost like the gray is a little bit off. Why is that gray so dark? Oh, because it's a button. I see. That's what's making it look wrong. We need to get rid of this. The button styling. BG transparent should help. There we go. All right. That looks a lot better. Now on to the rest of the items in the list. So we have each one of these items. We need to add this in. One frame it has a little bit of styling it looks like there's not even really a background on it okay so for each reason it's already kind of cleaned up so or it's already like in a partial so it just makes it a little bit easier Right over here, we can say, I don't even think we need flex, but we can do P4. What is the gap for? Oh, that's because that's, that's on the elements. Okay. So that's actually what we do here. We flex P4 um, item start, which it already is, so we don't really need to add that in. We can do gap 24 is 6, so gap 6. And stretch whoa okay that's weird so before it was in a column but now we just put it all in one like in a flex so it's all in one row definitely looks weird but a lot of that stuff we're actually gonna move into that modal because right now it's here but we don't really need a lot of this information until we get to the modal part so honestly I'm gonna create a new partial I'll call it the edit I'll just keep it simple, call it edit mode off. And then all I'm gonna do is take some of that stuff from that reason. So basically all of it. Well the question actually is then do we even want the form here? Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, delete the fields from the partial and then we can move that into a new file, which I already had created. <coughs> so I created a partial called the edit modal. And then I just moved everything from inside of this 
into that partial. And then now we can start adding the content that is wanted for the design. So the first item is actually an icon, which is going to be for reordering using a drag and drop. So we're going to add that in a second. We can add, we can add, use sortable JS for that. <clears throat> but really, I'm just going to add in the icon for now. So we have the SVG right here. Going to copy it, and then I'm going to use another view component for this. Just call this like a kind of like a grid. That's what it looks like to me. Oops, I already had it open. <coughs> so we go to the grid component HTML to ERB. I'll replace that with this icon. And if we refresh. So we're not displaying it, but on the reason we want to display. Okay, yeah, perfect. So it's already displaying. The color looks right and everything. The only thing is the width and height. Although, isn't it? Wouldn't it already be? Yeah, it's already that height, so we're good. Everything looks good here. The next thing is the eye. So we're just gonna really have two eyes. We're gonna have like the you know, the eye off. Okay, they already have names for this. This is more vertical. I call it a grid, but whatever. All right, let's do a eye. let's do a component for the eye. Oops. Forgot that space. And I'll do another one for I off. Why not? We have the I component. And then also, we have this I off. Oh, well, there's a copy there. Okay, I off. Drop that icon in. And now for that, there was a Boolean. I remember seeing a Boolean, so. Real quick, if we go into that edit mode hour where I drop the stuff. There was a boolean. Reason is visible, it's just active. Okay, perfect. So, what we're gonna do is on the right after the grid, we can do a condition and say if reason after. Hmm. I'm trying to remember, I'm trying to see what the Oh, we're just passing reason fields, right? <coughs> and that was one thing I actually was thinking is this probably shouldn't be a form anymore. This whole page, since the only thing we're doing is just the button to add a new one, and then we can also edit them separately. Oh. But then there's a save at the bottom. That's what I missed. Okay, so that kind of does show that it still is a form. And even though we're gonna do a modal, I think we still wanna use nested fields and everything. So that kind of changes up how I was doing it. I mean, we can still leave this. The edit modal is obviously gonna have this, but maybe we wanna keep these and then do something, I don't know. We'll figure it out. So what I want to see is what we're passing in. Simple fields for reasons. So reasons fields. Okay, what are <laughs> no we're doing f f dot probably object or it's either that or a resource. I'm just gonna quickly try this out. 
server back up. Okay, yeah, that is right. So instead of active, we're gonna render the i component. And else, we'll just render the i off. Boom, there we go. We got the i on there. Uh, I mean, it looks pretty decent. Okay, now let's add the next one, which is keep checking over here because that's uh, where we had it. Okay, so basically it's the label. I guess that's what they called it. So P. Don't really know what it's gonna be, but it will be f dot object dot label. Perfect. And then we can figure out the styling for this too. Looks like normal except for there's semi bold and then there's a custom line height, which I'm not gonna do because I don't think it's important. There's also a custom color though. We can add that, why not? So that's kinda easy. semi bold okay <clears throat> that looks right except for oh when it's off it actually has a slightly different style that's kind of pretty important this is a different color so actually we would have some logic in here that would say the object active then we'll use this class, else it's going to use this one, which actually is like this. And let's see how that works. Okay, works pretty well. That's good. Oh, okay, another thing. Okay, so we have that remember, and then we have the save. But in the design, it's actually in like a, the bottom bar, basically. We can change that pretty easily. So let's get out of the reason. I think reason is actually looking pretty good. Is there anything else? Oh yeah, and then the edit link. That's pretty easy. So it's just gonna be a link. I'm just gonna do a link to edit. Was it capitalized? Yeah, it was. Okay. And then the URL, I'm just gonna use like a hashtag. It's gonna go to a modal, which we're gonna figure out how we're gonna do that in a second. But for right now, I'll leave it just like that. And then let's add some styling. So we can just do a slight styling. Looks like it has this blue color. Which again, we should probably, let's find some way to refactor these these colors that we're hard coding, but for right now this is fine. And it's also semi-bold. It's kind of like the main things that I'm seeing. Everything else looks fine. Okay, and then we also want to probably do like what, ML auto side perfect now that would open up the modal it's already looking like honestly it's looking pretty good I guess one thing is that it should <laughs> one thing I'm noticing right away is that it should fill up like uh, see how there's all this empty space here that shouldn't be happening let's see why so if we go back to here this is where we're doing it the BG white Maybe we just need to say with full. It's weird. That's weird. It's not taking up the whole space. Okay. So let's check out up here. Oh, so this is getting limited. The application. Are we somehow getting limited here by this div? Maybe I need to say with full on this. Oh, okay. Looks like that helped. Ooh, but now. There's a bunch of extra space on the left side, but that's easy. Mm, I think we just want to, let's go back to edit. So this is where this, that div is. Hmm. Well, I 
Actually, what I'm thinking is maybe instead of flex, why don't we do grid? So whoops, and then grid calls two. Because then we force it into two different sections. And that basically looks all right. But no, there's still the space. So it didn't really fix the problem. Okay, let's go back to flex. So it's definitely a little bit too big. sure why I'm thinking I want to do justify self end try to push it to the end if I'm editing the wrong one. <laughs> no, that's the white one. Then this is the rounded. This, so that's what this is right here. Oh, the problem. Well, we're doing flex, flex call, item center. Right. <clears throat> if we don't do item center, actually looks more like how we want it but the problem is it's still a little bit too big like we don't want it to get that big so maybe I'll do a max width right okay we're getting somewhere but then with that we also do ml auto to push it to the left oh okay this is that's perfect basically for me I mean, it's a little bit, it's a little bit different, but it's pretty close. So, okay, so the next part I want to focus on, though, is this bottom part. So, we have this bottom little bar. Which I just really want to work on. So, it's kind of weird how they have this, uh, like, so what does it, I forget what the order is. First, to the top, right, left, bottom. So for some reason, there's a little bit more padding on the bottom. And hey, if that's the design, I'm gonna make sure I get that part. Anyways, what this means is that we're, we need to have this on the bottom of the page. But right now we're doing the form, we're actually we're like rendering a form object inside of this. So what we actually need to do is expand it to the whole page, which we can do, but we're gonna have to do some refactoring. So I'm just gonna take this and then we're gonna have to now pass in a form also. form is just gonna actually go around this whole all this content and it still should look the same oh undefined storefront so just storefront yeah it still looks the same perfect so now all we have to do is add that bottom bar which I mean it's just literally gonna be a div here it's full. Whoops. Let's see. Is there any height? No, there's not even height on it. It's just like the padding, really. Which is P4, but then PB24, which is 6. Okay, and then it's going to be a space between the line item center. They're just those two things, the message. So let's go into that form partial and grab those. So 
that's this part right here. And I'll just grab this whole thing here. Drop it in, but we don't really need this code. Okay, so remember to save your changes and then the save button. Okay, so we have that down there. Uh, we want to probably do like we can just fixed bottom zero push to the bottom although mm, now it's kind of broken oh because the width full it's kind of like overflowing so maybe we have to say left zero but also like left zero or yeah bottom zero but also left zero is what I'm going to say okay that's fine but now it's overlaying here because of that sidebar, which is kind of annoying. Maybe if we do a relative on the on this box. Hmm. I was hoping. And maybe inside of here. The, we're gonna have to figure out some way to just like push it down you know if this is supposed to take up the whole page If we do flex call here, it's not gonna take effect. <coughs> we almost need a div inside of here to do this type of stuff. This is another level. Mm, okay, okay, that's actually fine. All right. But the only problem is that. <laughs> That's kind of no that I hate that we definitely want to make it fixed to the bottom Wait, oh yeah so I was thinking anyways that maybe we could do relative here and then fix um, but that doesn't really make sense either I'm just gonna keep messing with this and try to get it set up. Okay, so I figured out what I'm gonna do. So basically, it's because of the left zero that was causing it to go all the way. But if I just do like leave it left auto, then it stays in the right place, which is perfect. Now I just need to make the width smaller. So I'm going to actually do some tailwind math. That's why right now I have width 100%. But if we do something like 80%, see, now it's looking a little bit better, 70%. What I really need to do is do some math to subtract the sidebar, which I know what the sidebar is because we all it is is the extra small. So we need to do... 100% minus whatever the extra small is. And I know we can do that with tailwind. So let me go back here. So yeah, we have the arbitrary values. And arbitrary values also, you can have like math inside of them. Hmm. 
to pull up where where that part is. <laughs> yeah, I think the calc is what I meant. Oh, so that's like a CSS thing anyways. So you just do a calc. So really minus whatever the extra small is, which I need to pull that up to. Uh, what's the max width, where's that? Max width. Well, that's funny they do numbers too now. So this is actually 20. Let's see how that looks. Maybe this fixes it, no. The problem is it's, it's still a little bit off. But I'm just hoping that this accounts for like different screen sizes too. Uh, so there, it still has the padding for some reason. I guess because this is relative and then it has padding on it. All right, let's fix that. Let's move the P8 into, well, let's just create another div. can wrap the form that should be oh but that still applies it <coughs> whoops uh, so I don't want it to apply to this bottom thing but I want it to apply to basically the rest so let's do a separate div P8 and then we can still have the bottom perfect and now I just need to fix that width so maybe we can do 20 now can't believe it it's perfect so just by using that little bit of math now this is like this is so smart right there so it doesn't resize for small for small devices we can fix that though so on this form uh, somewhere we're doing a grid I think inside of here because this is the card right I'm kind of confused right now this box and then we have that's the bottom box okay we had no we had this form and we had this one we're actually using flex we might just want to do like flex wrap on it I don't know okay yeah just like this this is perfect at least it gets a little bit more responsive for mobile I think that's good to have uh, so the last part would be changing the styling for the button, which is awesome. I can't believe that we got to this part. So it's pretty simple. I guess I'll start with padding. This is kind of an interesting, weird padding. Where it's like the sides are 14. I don't even know if they have one for 14. That's kind of a weird number. They do. Surprisingly, 3.5. Oh yeah, and they said something about configuring. So actually they said for the forms we're using simple form and there's an initializer that I could probably modify. So maybe I should do that for this button. I don't even see something like a submit button, so I don't really know. Uh, I'll just override it. Thanks, but that's a good option. I don't know if they would prefer that, but honestly, I'm getting the job done. That might help with, uh, with actually the colors, though. We've been running into issue where I don't want to like keep writing, like hard coding the numbers for the color. Anyways. Okay, that's around as large. Good to know. That's why there really needs to be. <laughs> yeah, whoever's watching this video, like you can see how I'm just struggling to convert this simply into what the tail end equivalent is. There needs to be a better plugin for that. And Anima obviously did not work for me, so I'll have to keep looking. But I just was like so excited to get this done. 
then we have that save text in the center. Actually, that's font weight 700. It's kind of a different one. So, or no, that's that's standard. That's font weight. There. Oops. Line height is kind of weird. I'm just gonna leave that. And everything else looks good. Just wondering, did I miss anything on the button? I don't think so. I think it's just simply a button. Let's see how it looks. Wait. <laughs> no. I obviously missed something. The text. Right? The text is just black. But I made the... I accidentally did it. Opposite. Wait. That's not right. So where's the padding? I never added that. The 14. Right. Because it was kind of confusing. Why is it... It looks like there's... So PX is 3.5, and then PY is 6? Wait, no, there's no way. PX has to be 6, PY is 3.5, but that seems like large. That's large. But hey, that's what the styling says, so I'll leave it. It's not supposed to be pink, but that that's because I was testing. I wasn't going to really make it pink. Boom. Okay, I mean, yeah, this looks pretty spot on right now. I'm very proud of this. Now the only, literally the last part is just adding the modal. But this is already spot on. Oh, except for the drag and drop. That's kind of like the last part that I'm saving for later. Okay, so one of the last and final parts is this edit button, making it functional so that it pops up a modal. And I've been thinking about how I want to do this. Actually, like, do I want to use Hotwire? Some, like, do I want to somehow use Hotwire for this? Or like what I was thinking is, do I want to have uh, like a route that renders this mode out from the server, which is possible. But then the question is, originally I thought we might have saved, like we might, this edit might have its own form where you press, you know, continue and then it posts and it saves something, which it could potentially you could have a setup like that and then it would just like update the hidden fields on each of these. Or we could include a modal rendered on each link. And then when you click the link, you, when you click on it, it, it just displays this modal, which would already be shown, which that's not really too hard. Like that's not too big of a addition just to add a little bit more HTML. And then just have like a bunch of different ones rather than the server rendered where we only have one modal. So that's kind of what's going on in my mind right now. And hmm. Yeah, I think what I've came to the conclusion is let's just have a modal for each, like on each row. And I'll show you what I mean. So on the reason we deleted all all the stuff we moved is something called edit modal, which that is what this is gonna be. But what I'm thinking is that like where are we gonna display edit modal? What I'm thinking is we can put it in here. But I'm not sure if these classes have any importance. Nested okay, nested form wrapper is actually used in JavaScript. That's what I was thinking. That's what I was expecting. doesn't really matter what I'm saying is that we're gonna render that here the edit modal we'd render that for each item of course it's gonna expect to F so we just give it the F that we already have the form 
Oh, actually, we want to give it the... Oh, well, we already have that, so that's perfect. Just pass that in, and then you can see that it's just, like, it's showing up, which is actually good, but... Uh, let's put this in the div that's hidden. And then you'll kind of see what I mean. We can have it hidden. We can hide that, and then once we press edit, we would display it, and then it would show up in the style of this modal. So I want to work on that right now. So real quick, I want to check out what we have for stimulus controllers. So over here on the side, I'm going to go to app, JavaScript controllers, and let's see. We already have a modal, so that's, that's interesting. They already added the a controller. So hey, if we already have the JavaScript, let's just use this. That's what they're saying. See, we have something the desktop overlay. So that's probably something that we want to add. And then X transition. Like I don't know why. I don't know why are we using this somewhere? There's already a modal stimulus controller, which you can use to implement the modal form. Interesting. So we might put the modal just like, if we had a div, I guess we'll move this one inside of here. Wait, how do I do it? I forget. Is it option? Yeah, it's option. Okay, and then this div will do data controller modal. What was the action? So we can do a show and there's also hide. So whenever we click on edit, it would be the modal show. And then inside of the modal, we'll probably have a close button, whatever it shows in the design. Oh, and then we have to also this is a data modal target. It's a modal, apparently. Hmm, I didn't see anything happen. Cannot read properties of null. Oh, right, the desktop overlay. What is this? They have this thing called desktop. Oh, oh let's look here and see if there is there. A... That's what this is, right? Obviously, this would be like the backdrop. I'm just trying to see how this comes into play. Because their code's just weird. Like, I wouldn't do it this way. But they also want like this custom color. Yeah, the question is, we're saying this modal target dot open. Oh, are they, maybe they're expecting me to use, I know people do dialogue. Doesn't that have something? Right. Yeah. That's what they want me to use is a dialogue. So instead of like the class hidden, should have been a dialogue and then it would have made sense apparently i don't usually do this for my modos but I mean, hey i think something happened can't really tell oh because this <laughs> that's definitely not right 
Okay, so maybe we have one backdrop thing for the whole page. That's what they're kind of implying. X transition is kind of interesting. And then the Z index. I don't know. I don't know where I'm supposed to put the desktop overlay, so that it, so that somehow Z index, you know, makes it show up. Maybe let's set, maybe let's set the Z index. C1. It still seems like it's causing trouble. Also, the color is not even coming through. I thought it was supposed to be a gray. Doesn't that look like gray? It's not really showing. It's not coming through right. fact is why would the Z have anything to do with the <clears throat> okay, also I don't need to implement it this way so like I'm not gonna do that whatever that was doing this is good enough so we probably want something that closes the other ones X transition must be, I mean, slightly important for something. I'm not sure yet. Wait, so is that the same color as this? No. Kind of looks like it, but I don't think so. This is easier than I'm thinking. I want to add back because let's say like the is the index zero, right? That means it's. Well, it doesn't make sense because that means it's. Right. I feel like the the higher the number, the closer to the front. So that's kind of what I'm confused about now. Right. Let's see, how does the index work? I'm 
Loki so confused. Unless, I mean, no, that wouldn't make sense to put it inside the dialogue. Because then why are we doing a query selector? Why are we doing document query selector? It's so confusing. Search. Is there anything like this already or no? I'm just gonna do my own solution because this is ridiculous. I don't know what they expected from that. But anyways, when I want <laughs> when I click this, I want it to do some, some better stuff. Oh, and then when I click it again, I want it to actually. Well, not necessarily. Let's see what we can do here. So like, can we actually do something? Create screen, create screen. Create some big div shit. kind of confusing okay so off camera i was able to basically figure it out using ChatGPT and brainstorming so now when i click it i actually have this thing that covers the whole background perfect so literally the only part left is styling this to look like this which is super easy uh but also really quickly i'm gonna just change it so it's not pink and it uses the actual color Wow, that was a pain. Definitely a lot of confusion there. But here we go. This should be the last thing. No way. Dude, now it doesn't look right. Oh wait, no, it is because it's the thing is it's centered. Actually, it's it working. It's working so well. It's just that DG. It doesn't look right. This looks like a dark gray, but for some reason this isn't showing up right. I want to change it from, I want to change it into a hex to make it easier. Wait, wait, how? So it's just BG white. 70, then that should work too. But that's not going to look right. That's not really what they're asking for. They want like the whole background. It looks like they want it gray. I don't know. The problem is this color is just not really easy to get. I don't know what it what it is. Unless I'm missing something. like a dark gray so this is already looking pretty good so we click edit and then it comes here now we're gonna work on that modal styling so let's see what we got here so there is a fixed width 720 which I'm pretty sure we should have a tailwind for that uh, well, basically, we can try this out max fixed. Uh, or no, I probably want to make it right. I mean, I don't know. Oh, whoops. So 
funny thing is that we have the div around the modal, but we might as well move that inside. And just have all the styling in there. At this point. And we just have like these inputs everywhere, which is kind of annoying. But we'll refactor this, clean it up. Alright, let's see how that looked. Didn't really change much. But we moved this inside and, and I did the max width so that it's the right size. Okay, that looks good. Now flex, flex call, and then some padding. That should help. Okay. Well, it already actually looks better. Now we need gap six. And then of course the border radius 16. That means it's, what is that actually? I'm gonna have to look that up. And 2XL, interesting. So it's a little bit larger than usually what I do. Hmm. Although it doesn't look like it applied for some reason. So maybe I have to do like overflow hidden to make that. No, it's still not showing up. Wait, am I missing something? Whoa, that's actually weird. It, it's kind of, it's weird how it's pushed so far down. I'm going to have to work on that. I thought this was supposed to be absolute, actually. Bro, I don't even know. Yeah, it shouldn't be going down like that. It should be, it shouldn't even be that low, I don't think. I mean, it looks fine here, but it's a little bit too far down anyways. Yeah, I'm still kind of still kind of thinking about how I want to do this. But oh yeah, and then the fact that it it actually goes down to the different parts, that's no good not working for me. Can we do top and then left? What is that gonna do? Just why why does it have to make it look mad? Hmm. Maybe we just can't do that stuff. Maybe we need to nest that inside. So like all the styling, flex call, padding, all that stuff inside and then on the outside yeah I'm still kind of fighting this it's so painful but I'm trying to figure it out I mean, I almost look, think like top zero screen, screen. You could just make it fill up the whole screen. Hmm. No, that does not look right. So why is it still hold the, <laughs> no, that looks so wrong. I never do dialogues, and I don't know why they're making me do the dialogue. Because it looks so bad. Okay, 
Maybe I should, maybe I should have just been styling the dialogue itself. This is so annoying. Hmm. Whoa, I feel like that's better, right? Definitely better what the yeah that's that's really good. But this the height is still weird. Oh wait, no, it's not better. What am I saying? Okay, here we go. Now it's better. And then we can do like fifty percent height and that should center it. not okay maybe we'll just do a little bit of top yeah that works for me something like this 36 is 36 and one maybe top 40 all right oops and then we remove it on all devices it's, it should look fine yeah perfect i'm happy with this we figured it out we just had to style the dialogue itself it's pretty easy stuff here, let's keep moving. Okay, uh, I still don't see the rounded. Let's try to add it back. That was the, the big part that we were stuck on. Boom, we got rounded. Perfect. Yeah, I'm sure they kind of tired of this at this point. Uh, but it looks so good. I can't believe it. It looks so awesome. Oh, one thing I'm, I just noticed is we should add a cursor to that submit button kind of off topic but I just noticed we actually moved it to the edit page I forgot let's do cursor pointer wait now the modal is not rounded anymore I must have done something Using the edit modal rounded to Excel. That's so weird, it's not showing up anymore. Oh, that's so weird. What happened? Just for some reason, there's no border radius. Okay, fine. For some reason, even though the background white is on here, it wants me to style the dialogue. You know, at this point, the dialogue might as well be like you know, top div in the edit model. Instead of a div, it's just a whole dialogue. <laughs> Although I guess you can't do flex, or maybe we can. Let's see. Let's take all of that, put it here. Let's see if it works. Mm. <laughs> it does not work. It does not work. Okay, let's put it back. back here okay let's take that dialogue and let's put it inside the model but we'll still leave the div don't know if this is really better now for some reason wait let's put the white on here Okay, perfect. We 
got it. Now we'll continue looking. It looks a lot more rounded on here though. Because of the width. Three XL I think is good. Oh, but now it's a little bit off centered. Or is it? Wait, it just looks like it. I think I'm just getting dizzy or something. I think it's fine. Okay, let's work on the edit return reason, that text right there. So we don't even have that. We're gonna have to add that real quick. So let's add like the top section. So there's the close and then there's that. Let's add a div flex. Say justify between. Better. I don't even know. I, mean, I honestly just want to use a P. And then it has to say edit return reason. And then it's going to have 24 pixel font size. Capitalize too. But that's just, yeah, because it's capitalized. <laughs> but I capitalized it myself, but still, we can leave that. Okay. And the other side, we have this, the X. SVG for this. So I'm going to do another component, real estate component icons X. The styling's a little bit different though. Let's get that. Um, well, I mean, I guess it should be the same icon. So actually, it should be right. The problem really is just with this. We need to add, for some reason, I don't see the padding. Maybe we never added that. Okay, okay, that's a little bit better. We got that, it looks like then there's this little line. Right, so this is literally just like a one pixel line. We could probably do a border for this, but. So we have the line there. Just looks like there's some padding. Maybe the gap actually includes the line. That's what they're saying. So I don't know if we did gap. Right, 
this should have had gap and then there should have been 16 between so can we just do like larger top four i think that should do the same yeah that looks right now let's get to the next part the label is different displayed reason Okay, so this is the part where they would probably want me to change the simple form because the inputs are going to be slightly different. Like the label class, for example, is different. On semi builds. Instead of text small, it's just like text regular. And then the color is different too. So we got that. And there's some custom styling on the input. <coughs> so that we probably change that here too. Hmm. Okay. So we have the modal have it popping up okay so the next thing I wanted to look at was the styling on the input so there's like a border radius the background border all that stuff's custom so I'm trying to figure out the input field how can we style this okay is it right here vertical form Is that really the styling? I'm just gonna put something to test real quick. No, that's not even, that's not affecting that. Vertical, wait, what's up with this vertical? I'm still so confused. Oh, maybe we let's check this. What is this? What classes does this have? Oh, it has a ton of classes. Wow. Now let's just search for that. Search for these. It pops up right here. <coughs> okay. Where is it? So it's, it is this one. Apparently. So if we're going to change that styling up, maybe we need to restart the server for it to take effect. That makes sense. Okay. Anyways, we can work on this. So that's large. Okay. Just remember. I'm just going to straight up. that and just modify it with the the actual stuff that we want looks like this would be x4 y3 maybe i think that's p3 I don't know about the gap though because seriously uh, that doesn't make sense for like for real input maybe the padding though oh wait that's what that's what the padding was for <laughs> okay border radius now we need the border so 
custom color, which we actually are using somewhere else, but you know, whatever. There's actually a custom background too. Let's grab that. not applied that's what i'm hoping if i restart maybe it'll apply yeah it does perfect hmm it's weird how going to say with full restart the server too okay perfect so i think that's good let's just look at the styling one more hmm there needs to be some padding though for sure this input we can just add that in ourselves though i mean almost right here where we're doing gap it looks like the gap isn't even working almost wait i know it's working but the individual fields needs a little bit of padding. Like between the label and the... And so I guess we should change that here. Yeah, I mean, that works. What is the styling? <coughs> I mean, yeah, that's fine. This just needs to be changed for that little thing. What is that? The the hint. Just change this so that it's the right. Font size, okay, that's gonna be text small. And then this color. Letter spacing is kind of custom. Okay, fine. Just tracking. Less. No, that's totally custom. I don't know why they want this, but okay. Fine. It basically looks the same. But okay, that looks fine. That looks like the thing. Only thing is it doesn't show the like this the asterisk. I don't know why it's showing that. Hmm. Required. So maybe the required thing is like that. So if I delete that, maybe it'll fix. It won't show the, the asterisk. Perfect. Oops. Okay, so this is the design. It looks good. Internal return code. I'm trying to make sure everything's right. It looks like there's a, like on the main thing, there should be gap 24, which is sick, right? But that's what we have here. Still trying to see if it looks right. You know, I think it's too far. It's too far down. Because for the Moda, we did top thirty or two thirty six. Okay. Now this is gonna be different. So we have this. Uh, 
return reason is hidden. When hidden, this reason is not offered. No, they click on the eye icon to make, okay. Now I see. So they want to change that. So like right here, we'd add that his return reason is hidden and then we can also do the hints, which would be this text right here. Then I need to somehow add in that JavaScript to like do a little toggle thing, which that's kind of annoying. Because uh, I mean, the most annoying thing about it is doing it with simple form, but I'm sure it's not that hard. It's basically the radio button checkbox, that's what it is. We need to somehow like add an icon. using CSS to add his SVG. We're gonna have to think about this more a little bit, <laughs> but I want to just move on to the next part. Like, can maybe do the delete button, get that finished. So this destroy button is a little bit different. We have this thing called button danger. Probably just not do that. This red color. And then it kind of has like some custom styling, but I'm just going to do. really no way Let's see okay, and it does have the the width 95 pixels okay let's just try that's what they want to do would be different the text itself has its has totally its own styling So 
said something else that's important. So we, I mean, yeah, right, it looks basically the same. Still seems like it's, why does it still seem like it's a little bit too low? Okay, this is actually perfect. This should actually close it, that icon. Right now it's not. Let's add that in. Just adding a link, and then I will do data action, modal, close. It's either close or it's hide. This is working pretty great. And then we have just this and ordering. Oh, I see. So they already have the ordering number. But actually, we would just use the drag and drop. So we can just delete this. Nice. And the other thing is that continue, which I'm guessing continue just would say like, It would do the same, it would just close, right? It's more like just a UI thing. I guess we could do this down here. Basically, just have the same link as like this. So for this one, we'll have a word that says continue. And then we have that styling. I keep forgetting what 14 is for font size. Small. I've seen it so many times. And then it's going to be bold. <laughs> how, do, how do we have an issue? Is that, oh, because there's a do and there's nine. Mess this up again. Wait, this should be BG, not text. Okay. There, and that's good. Height 44. This is height 44. The only difference is this border. Kind of makes this one look smaller, which is a little bit annoying. Why don't we just do our own border? Because I care. It actually does help.
the only thing left is just to fix this to make it an eyeball and then do the click this is so crazy it already looks really good okay guys I got everything done so oh wait the last thing is drag and drop okay but that's fine but i just want to show you i got the icon working with simple form so i can click it toggle it on and off change any of these and then i also found a glitch with when you delete it it didn't close the modal but i fixed that obviously yeah now this is working really well but the only, the one last thing was the drag and drop with sortable JS. Yeah, actually, I want to see like the old code inside of the reason partial. To get diff. So this was the old code. And right here, there was an input for ordering. And then it's just like a number field. So I actually want to bring that back. In the edit modal, we can put it in this section, I guess. So we have that form. But we're going to do a hidden field. Make sure I have the right thing. Put it in the console. So yeah, it was ordering. And it's just a number. So I think we can use a, a hidden field like this. And then we're just gonna update it. Or you know what? I'll even I'll display it for now just so we can see. Yeah, I never really used simple form, but just doing it for this challenge, I'm already kind of starting to like understand it for one and also kind of enjoy it. Okay, so I added the first one. It says the ordering's two. Doesn't seem like it's really working that well. So I don't think they have anything to do the ordering yet. Let me check the model real quick actually like a storefront model i haven't even looked here the whole time it's kind of funny we have some validations mm, has many reasons okay there's a reason model too code label scope ordered okay cool 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 and we're on the storefront we're in the storefronts controller on the edit action. Yeah, not really anything special there. Interesting. And then the edit page. It's really just a nested form. And then we're looping for the reasons, just like that. Oh, we, okay, we are doing ordered, and we loop through here. Perfect. So, it should be in the correct order. Just the problem is that the order isn't updating, which is you're probably, like, every time we save, it should probably reset the order to be in the correct index. Yeah, <laughs> I really want to add the axles list, Jen, because I feel like it makes it so easy. just literally acts as list so scope would be there would be a reason access list scope is a storefront Let me 
to find all the options. Like, how do I... Okay, just colon like this. The colon would actually be ordering. Okay. So now it doesn't really look like anything's changed. But let's try to save them and then see. Or maybe like save one of them as one and then see if it updates. Hmm. Doesn't really look like it's doing that. if we really need a scope there oh yeah of course because <laughs> it needs to be uh, yeah it belongs to that column ordering i feel like everything is right but oh yeah insert at so let's just say storefront dot last. Let's check for the reasons. Let's just say the first insert at two. Right. And now I just wanna pluck all of the Reload and then try. See, it's still. It's not updating the rest of them. Yeah, I'm kind of confused. But maybe we don't have to worry about it. Maybe. Actually, yeah, I don't know why it lets me do it. Oh, because then you're supposed to up, then you're supposed to add the reason. I feel like it should update. But it is just a coding challenge. I literally got everything how it's supposed to be. a little bit confused about this ordering thing. Oh, this is two, this is six. See, that doesn't really make sense. You know what, I guess that makes sense. It's still kind of in the order, so that's fine. Uh, 
Uh, let's leave it and let's just say that it'll work. Now I'm going to add sortable with JS. I think we should be using a point map. Okay. Add sortable JS. And then we're just gonna do a stimulus controller for sortable. Import sortable. need something simple I'll actually set this on this dot sortable we'll set that on as a class variable and then we might want to pass in some options but these are all the defaults so hmm. We might we might want to add some more in a second, but I think what we want is on end, on end is when the item stops running. How do we do this? On end needs to be a function. So I'm guessing we can do something like this. Or do we need to actually do a function? I don't think we have to. There's going to be some stuff on the event. Probably way down here it'll show us. So yeah, we can get new index. And then we'll just use that to update it. Why is this so confusing? Because when I click this, I feel like I can use the back button, but I really can't. Oh, and another thing I should add is when I click this backdrop, it should really clear its loadout for sure. All right, we're gonna do this sortable. form it would be right here should be working but it looks like oh l is not defined right because it's Instead, we can say this element. Perfect. And hey, it actually works. Uh, yeah, you know what? It looks like it works fine. Shows the new place. So from there, all we need to do is take that index and go and update. Hmm. So yeah, that'll be the question is how do we tie this together? we can get out of this event.
can basically get this. Okay, we get everything. <laughs> Yo. Okay, we get everything we need. Right? Or no, I'm kind of confused. That's just the main dish. Whoops. Let's go back to the docks and see what they're talking about. item is what I really wanted to console log so this is the item perfect the nested form wrapper so from here we need to go and set that value if you look at that that should be right here so we're already in here now if we're thinking about how we can go into edit mode out and set this ordering there's really a bunch of ways, but we're going to end up using some JavaScript. So the question is, do I want to use a class? I might as well do that because it'll be pretty easy. Yeah, the question is... I think I'm fine with doing this though. Just query selector for like ordering. This is just a coding challenge. Like obviously this might not be that reusable, but it doesn't really hurt to do this also. No, setting value. Oops. Yeah, class of ordering. That's weird. So yeah, the problem here is really the, <laughs> obviously we need to do the right code for the simple thing, which we didn't have set up. I mean, hey, we could probably make this more reusable instead of saying like ordering, we could say like nested form index. Oh, wait, not nested, sortable index. Or like this doesn't, this doesn't really make sense, but also it's a little bit more reusable at this point. If we were saying something like this. See, that's pretty, that's pretty nice. It's actually already working how we want it to. So we put it right there. Uh, hmm. Didn't really. <laughs> well, now it works. The reason is going to go to the first one. Save, it worked. Hmm. That was weird. So what says five? That seems more like a problem with the like, cause now it says something. 
So why does it keep changing places? Has a few hiccups, but it honestly looks like it's doing pretty well. I'm just gonna reset the database real quick. Said it already came with the database. How does that even happen? Somehow I broke it. It said the existing SQL database. How did they even include that? Oh, it's it's literally in storage. I did not know that you could just include that, honestly. Just gonna restore it. <laughs> Hopefully it works, hey. Now the question, does this just work automatically? Yeah. Basically. The challenge was just to do the design, so there I did it. Yeah, I'm happy with it. I'm about to go submit it right now because I'm 100% happy with it. I don't think there's anything I could really do better. And I want to be quick with this too to show how interested I am in it. find out where the messaging is can you email me at okay perfect
There we go. Completed the coding challenge. And I sent it off. And yeah. We'll see what happens. Really, that's the best that I can hope. We sent it off. We did the coding challenge. Everything's looking good. Yeah, I'm happy with it. Simple. But yeah, I had a lot of fun doing this video. I know it's going to take a while to edit because it was pretty long and there's a lot of pauses to find out stuff. But I just really wanted to show you what it's like to, you know, get the coding challenge, especially for something that I'm really comfortable in, like these technologies. Although there was some things like simple form that I wouldn't, like I haven't used it before, so it's new, but it's still really nice. Like I know a lot of people use it and I just enjoyed using it. I would definitely use it again. And it works great with, like, I just saw it worked great with Tailwind, the stimulus, all that. So, I'm not worried about it. I'm just really happy that I got to showcase these skills. And I'm really excited to hear back from this founder to see if he, you know, I did it. I did the whole thing word for word. So, if he has any issues with it, like, I don't even know how that would be possible. Because I did it word for word. I feel like this is 100% I'm going to get the job. So yeah, keep you guys updated.